Hello students, today we are going to learn about animal kingdom part 3. Here in this part you are going to uh, learn about different phylums present in invertebrata group. There are 8 phylums present in invertebrata group. I already told you that in previous class invertebrate means the organism which do not possess backbone comes under this invertebrata group. The eight different phylums are Porifera. Porifera means the organisms are having four bearers. Second one is Cilentrata. Nidaria or Cilentrate type of organisms are present. Third one is Platyhelminthes. In this, flatworms are present. Fourth one is Ascalminthes. In this, roundworms are present. And this Ascalminthes are also called as Nematoda. Ascalminthes are also known as Nematoda and then fifth one is Annelida. In this Annelida segmented organisms are present and sixth one is Arthropoda. Arthropoda means the organism which have jointed legs are comes under this phylum Arthropoda and then seventh one is Mollusca. Mollusca means a soft bodied organism. And eighth one is Echinodermata. Echinodermata means the organism having spiny skin comes under this phylum Echinodermata. Okay. How you can remember all these eight different phylums easily means you can simply write like this. PCP, triple A M E R, PCP, N, double A M E. Name, name instead of single A. We have to write double A for name, PCP name or PCP triple A M E. P stands for Porifera, C for Cilentrata and again another C P for Platyhelminthes, A for Ascalminthes, another A for Annelida and third A for Arthropoda, M for Mollusca and E for Echinodermata. So, in this way you can simply remember all these 8 different phylums. Porifera, Cilentrata, Platyelminthes, Ascalminthes, Annelida, Arthropoda and Mollusca, Echinodermata. First, we will see the characteristic features of phylum Porifera. So, the organism comes under this phylum Porifera. They are made up of many cells. So, multicellular non motile non motile means they can't able to move from one place to another place and also they are aquatic forms aquatic means they are freshwater forms mainly they are called as sponges and uh, cellular grade of organization is present in this porifera group body bears a pore these pores are known as ostia and through this pore water enter along with the food material and also oxygen into the body and circulate inside the body as into a canal system so that it receives food and oxygen present in the water and body wall is made up of spicules and this spicules forms a skeletal frame and how this organism reproduce means they reproduce both by sexual and also asexual method and example for this porifera are euphlectella and cycon and this is the structure of euphlectella and the next phylum cilentrata cilentrata is also made up of many cells that means multicellular organism it used to live in marine and also freshwater forms and it shows radial symmetry radial symmetry and all these multicellules are arranged in tissue grade of organization the many cells are arranged in tissue grade of organization and here the body wall is made up of diploblastic 
Diploblastic means ectoderm and endoderm are present. Between these two, ecto and endoderm, mesoglia. Mesoglia is nothing but a jelly-like uh, substance will be present between these two derms. And if you are taking that central gastrovascular cavity is present and mouth is surrounded by tentacles. Mouth is surrounded by tentacles. And in the tentacles, nidoblast or nematocyst are present. And nidoblast or nematocyst is nothing but stinging cells. These cells helps to protect these organism from the predators. Okay. And if you are taking that polymorphism, polymorphism is nothing but the same group of organism. That means all the organism comes under this cilantrata. It shows variation. Variation means differences in structure and function. Okay, polymorphism na it's nothing but variation or differences in structure and function of the same species is called polymorphism and reproduction if you are taking that reproduction means it used to reproduce by sexual and also asexual method and this is the example for cilantrata example hydra so these are all the tentacle in the tentacles only that stinging cells are present this is mouth mouth is surrounded by tentacles and the next phylum platy elminthus platy elminthus means i told you that flat worms are present and this organism shows bilateral symmetry triploblastic in nature triploblastic mean three layers are present ectoderm endoderm mesoderm and this shows a coelomate organism parasitic in nature and then for parasitic mode of life suckers and hooks are helps and then special flame cells are present in this type of platy helminthus. These flame cells are used in excretion. And uh, this organism shows hermoproduct. Hermoproduct means both male and female reproductive organs are present in the same individual. Okay, male and female reproductive parts are present in the single individual. Example for these uh, helminthus are liver fluke and also tapeworm this is the structure of tapeworm and next phylum is triploblastic in nature here pseudocelom is present pseudocelom means false coelom is present and they are free living soil forms free living soil forms some of the organisms are parasitic in nature and here the body is rounded in shape and both the anterior and posterior ends are tapering in nature or pointed in nature and it shows un unsegmentation it shows unsegmentation and the body is uh, body wall is having thin cuticle if you are taking that male and female means these two organisms are separate here then it is also known as nematodes i already told you that ascalminthus are also called as nematodes this type of nematode organism or ascalminthus, it used to cause diseases like elephantiasis and ascariasis. And this is the example for ascalminthus. This is and the next phylum, Annelida. Annelida also shows bilateral symmetry, triploblastic in nature. Here only, after this organism only, this Annelida group only, True coeloms are appeared. True coelom. It is also known as U coelom. Here the organ grade of organization is present in this case of Annelida. Okay. And then if you are taking that body means it shows segmentation. These segments are also called as metameres. Metameres are outsidely. They used to join as a ring like structure. These rings are called as annuli. And then the body is covered by thin cuticle and also a body bears setae or parapodia like structures. Setae and parapodia is nothing but fine hair like structures used for a locomotion. And here sexes may be separate and some of the organism the sexes are united. And this is the example of Annelida phylum earthworm organism. 
and it shows bilateral symmetrical triploblastic in nature true coelomate organism and here the body is divided into head thorax and abdomen region they have jointed legs and here the exoskeleton is made up of chitin substance chitin is nothing but hard substance here the body cavity is filled with the fluid called hemolymph hemolymph means white blood is present here the blood is circulated in a open circulatory system they don't have any chambers or arteries to carry the hemolymph fluid and if you are taking that respiration means respiration takes place by body surface gills or trachea and excretion means special type of cells malpighian tubules are present and in some organism green glands are present these malpighian tubules green glands are act as a excretory organ and here the sexes are separate male and female organisms are present separately example for these are phylum and this is the structure of cockroach okay body is divisible into head region this is thorax region and then abdomen region and the next phylum mollusca this mol mollusca is also made up of multicellular organism and then here it used to live live in marine fresh water and also terrestrial forms terrestrial means it also live on land body shows bilateral symmetry and body is soft here it shows no segmentation and then here the body is divisible into three parts head muscular foot and then visceral mass and body is covered by mantle mantle is nothing but a soft body this mantle only secrete the hard shell and if you are taking that respiration means respiration occurs by gills and also lungs or in some organism the respiration takes place both by gills and also lungs here the sexes are separate and this is the example of mollusca apple snail and this is the soft body called mantle this one mantle only secretes a hard shell like structure and then the last phylum echinodermata Echinodermata means free living marine forms and triploblastic in nature true coelomed organism here the grade of organization is organ grade organization is present and the adult organism shows radial symmetry but the larval form in larval form it used to show only bilateral symmetry here the water vascular canal system is present it used to move from one place to another place with the help of tube feet tube feet is present on the ventral side of the organism and here the body is covered with spiny calcareous spicules or ossicles okay so the skin is covered with spiny calcareous ossicles so only it used to called as echinodermata example for this dermata phylum is starfish and this is the starfish the white patches you are observing the white patches no this we called it as spines on the skin so only it is it used to called as echinodermata